Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Lafix. Got another video for you guys today. Today I got this A2179 uh, MacBook Air. It's a 2020 MacBook Air, and no, it's not the M1 version. It's the last Intel cutoff uh, before the other M1s, Apple Silicon, whatever you want to call it there um, as well. So we have this in here for repair because it's not powering on. Um, it did come with this little charger. This one looks like it's more of like an iPad charger, and it does have like a USB-C um, cable there. The USB-C cable actually feels pretty nice. It's an insignia, which usually means what? That's usually like a Best Buy brand. That's probably not really the point. Um, for these ones, uh, I know these ones are a little bit lower power, um, or at least some of them, especially for the MacBook Air. Um, you probably, I believe it comes with, if I'm not mistaken, it probably comes with like a 35, 30 or to 45 watt power adapter. This one, oh, this one actually is a 30 watt power adapter. So maybe okay, or maybe sipping power. Um, I'm not really sure. It's a very, very small one. Now, if it was Apple Silicon one, that was, this would probably make a little bit more sense for it. I'm not sure if this would be the standard one or if this needs at least like a 45 watt. We always want to make sure that you have the original charger for that, especially try to get, especially for chargers, you always want to try to get uh, the genuine ones because those are the most important ones to get, um, especially on older Macs, man, because you have that MagSafe or if, especially if you have a MagSafe, you want to make sure that you get original ones. Uh, now, it's in here for repair, so let's see what's going on with it. We always like to have our little USB-C tester here and let's see what's going on. So we plug it in. So you're getting a, a 20 volts. Let's see, it climbs, 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 and goes back up, oh, climbs, climbs, climbs. So the amp down one goes back down and climbs, climbs, <laughs> goes back down. So the voltage is good. It's about 20, uh, you're getting about 19.8, which is about 20 volts, which is good. Uh, the amps are all over the place. Uh, they kind of hang a little bit there. Um, let's go ahead and check. We have another port. We want to make sure that is good because if we have this, this means we have at least what decent communication with our CD32. Um, 17 in there. So yeah, this looks about the same. Uh, the amps are roughly about the same. Okay, so you climbed again, and now it goes back down. So, so what's probably going on there? Uh, because the voltage and current actually, well, the voltage is good, but the current seems to be a problem. What it may be is usually this is more of a problem, especially when you, when you see something like this, you have a T2 issue. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, we've seen symptoms like these before, and we made videos about something like this very similar before, but there could be other things as well. So at least let's just open the bottom here. Let's take a quick look, and man, does this board look clean. There don't really seem to be any uh, extra damage, any problems there. And what we normally like to do for something like this, right, is... Um, well, and since we don't see any obvious damage, no liquid damage or anything, because and usually you can see on the back of here, right, the bottom cover, that there would be maybe some type of evidence, especially if it goes to the back end or if it goes to the keyboard, you would see a sloppy keyboard or something. That makes it easier. It's not always guaranteed because there could be just a drop somewhere, right? But we see that, uh, what is our, our symptoms? We're getting about 20 volts. And if we're getting about 20 volts and we're getting some type of current, but then it keeps going down, there's usually some type of issue in there, and that could be maybe tied to the T2 issue that could be something like that or there could be something else going on so what we want to do first let's just check out the board um, if the board looks okay we don't see any obvious damage then there's no point of measuring and soldering stuff right if um, if we can try one thing first which would be like the the, the DFU revive mode because maybe the the T2 is giving a problem so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a look just quickly we, we can do a quick um, a scan on the board I still want to remove stuff maybe there's a damaged cable maybe there's a little spot of corrosion somewhere there who really knows so if I take this out let's see so I got the battery connection I don't want to tear anything all right cool so even the bottom looks clean clean there don't see anything no obvious spots no obvious uh, damage um, visual inspection we have the crazy vis visual inspection this looks very clean don't see anything um, let's see I want to try to see something obvious first let's do another possible one even though this usually isn't the case for it but we just saw how it kept going up and down but there could be a little bit of corrosion there on one of these usually this wouldn't show especially if there's a USB-C problem nope it wouldn't show anything else all right let's plug this back in um, but yeah so one more spot to look and then we'll go into the microscope would be over here because I do like to check over, this is where you have your uh, power button. This is the I.O. board over here. And it's a separate board. It's actually removable. Uh, well, I guess obviously it makes sense that it's removable now, right? Or there could be the power button. Just This one I'm just going to do visual. I'm not going to like totally remove it. I just want to see like under, actually I could just do it here, right? I don't see anything obvious here. 
Yeah, if we can get a little bit lazy on this one, because I don't really see anything obvious. Because I still think I know what this is. Um, yeah. I guess let's go now under the microscope. Yeah, let's not worry about this. Okay, so I guess uh, let's not worry about the side. Let's just go under the microscope and see. Actually, you know what? No, let's not be lazy. No, 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 no. no. We're not going to be lazy. We're going to go ahead and check this little spot. The only thing I'm thinking would be probably the, the connection on the power button as well as this here. We're just being a little bit more thorough. That just came off. Looks good. Looks clean. Any corrosion? Anything? Probably not because of our voltage is good. Power button looks good too. Nothing on the power button. Okay. So we have a really, really clean board, which is great. Let's go put this on. Let's go inspect the board under the microscope. So we did our visual inspection. Now we need to do our micro visual inspection. I guess that's what we can call it. Just to see if there's anything obvious here. Possible work. Anything else? Corrosion. Burn. Can you guys see anything? Or am I just looking under the microscope? I think you guys can see perfectly. Perfect. Okay. Looks good. I don't expect anything really here. This area. Okay. So how's everyone feeling so far? I guess we're all good here. No obvious damage. Right? Well, it looks really clean. Okay, so now what's next? Well, I think we've earned our stripes and... Uh, let's take a look at Is there something. No, okay. Well, I think we've earned our stripes and what we can do now is try to go and reload this firmware because maybe there's a firmware issue with it, right? It was giving those symptoms. So let's go ahead and try to do that. Man, it's always fun to do that because you usually have to do that during a lot of these repairs anyway, especially with the more recent ones. We've been seeing that a lot more. So let's actually get this, let's put the board back and let's get right into that. So sad to, um, to be using this MacBook because this one, we're gonna rest in peace this one probably. Well, I don't know about soon, but this is A1706. This is a 2017 um, model. So 2017 model, it only maxes out at when we get like um, Ventura. All right, so Ventura. So I try to make the video, well, let me put that in. I try to make a video, um, well, I did make a video actually of doing Sonoma, doing like a, a beta and showing people how to make the bootable device there. And I couldn't do it on this one. It drove me crazy why I couldn't do it. And I realized that my Mac is finally gone. It won't take any more updates. So you can even see the little Sonoma uh, icon down there. And I tried, and I had to use another one. We have another one here, but probably the next one I probably have to do, I might have to get another upgrade because I think I have, I think it was a 2019 MacBook Air. So I don't know if that's going to be, um, if that's going to be it for it. Okay, so let me get my special cable. And we're gonna do the DFU. We're gonna try reboot firmware here. Okay, so we got our mode up here and we're gonna be doing the revive process, right? So let's go ahead and try to revive it. Okay, and we're going through the steps here. Uh, see, you know, it takes some time, so if you watch other videos about it, sometimes it takes some time here. And, bo oh, look at that. Whoa, 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 it works. Oh, man, it works. I wonder why. <laughs> okay, so we'll see if we can at least get to a lock screen. And I think we should be fine. Well, I had to do like a, like plug in the battery for some reason anyway, but looks good, right? Okay, so we're good. Uh, very, very low battery. It's like 4% battery, but everything looks to be good. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on fixing the A2179 2020 MacBook Air. Um, if you did like this video, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. We have lots of cool liquid swivel repairs, data recoveries, lots of cool MacBook stuff on this channel. If you want to go ahead and check that out and a full way to show you guys DFU mode and lots of other things. And we'll go ahead and check out our channel and see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Take care.